What is up, y'all? Case Land 15, you're actually recording. Why is your card the weekly picks off my phone? Well, technically, it's off the computer and I had to transfer my phone, but actually, we have connect we have internet connection again, but it is a wire connection, so the reason why the room in the back end looks so different because it's my niece's room. Um, so, yeah, take a look around. So, this is really uncomfortable, but whatever, fuck it. We're gonna have to do it. Um,. Come on, get off the screen. Don't need your fucking security bullshit. Fuck off. Alright, so NFL Week 7 picks. Um, yeah, it's been a minute since I've done anything with YouTube and all that. Um, well, I do it every day. Well, not every day, but every week. But, like, you know, I haven't, I haven't been able to monetize any of my fucking videos because I haven't had my computer. Like, a, It's been a long time. You know, I'm able to use it, but I can't use the internet, but now I can. However, it is a wireless connection. I have been having issues connected uh, wirelessly. Um, I used to be able to just do it wirelessly, nothing, but I don't know what happened to it. I tried connecting. I've looked it up on Google. I've tried multiple different uh, scenarios and solutions, and nothing has worked. So... I guess for now this will unfortunately have to do. But in the meantime, we still can do videos and shit. It's just gonna be on a computer. Or I gotta do it with my phone, which will require a lot more data and fucking space stores and that bullshit. So And this is really fucking hurting my legs, man. I gotta find like a fucking chair or something. So, um let's review last week's picks. Oh my god, this is uncomfortable as fuck. Motherfucker. Alright, um. Can you guys see me like this? No. This looks fucking weird. This this will have to do. This will have to do. I'm sorry. This won't hurt that long. Okay, um. So, it looks like I relatively did bad. Uh, I picked the Panthers, they lost the Eagles. I picked the Lions, they lost the Saints. Beat the Packers, they lost to the Vikings, aka Aaron Rodgers injury. Dolphins, uh, beat the Falcons, I picked Atlanta. Beat the Ravens, they lost another time to the Bears. Picked the Raiders, lose picked the Raiders, and they lost to the Chargers by game winning field goal. Picked the Broncos. I think I won't pick the Broncos on that one. They lost to the uh, Giants. Picked the Colts, and they actually were that was a pretty neck to neck game, and then the Titans just kinda Derrick Henry kinda happened. Um so let me do uh, week seven. Um, okay. Here, we'll do it like this then. This will have to work. Yep, we'll do it like this then. This will definitely work. Okay. Uh, week seven. Kansas City going to Oakland. I like Kansas City to rebound this week. Uh, they've owned the Raiders, beating them a good amount of times uh, the past couple of seasons. So I definitely like uh, Kansas City. To rebound. Arizona going to LA. I like LA. The Cardinals definitely looked a lot better on Sunday with the running back, aka running game, aka AP, AD all day, AP. Um, I'm honestly underneath. I'm underneath. I'm on. I'm, I'm on the belief or under the under the belief that if you give AP 20 carries, 20 some carries, he can produce and still be a solid back in the NFL. Not top three, but still be a pretty decent good back. But the Saints just didn't know that because they wanted to use four different running backs at one time. Uh, Baltimore going to Minnesota. Um, I like the Vikings to win this game. Who know? Week to week, man. It, this is why I love doing picks. It's so unpredictable. That's why I like trying to be accurate and be a beast. But, well, I am a beast, so I actually, that kind of contradicts what I just said. But, um, uh, Jaguars at Colts. I like the, uh, hmm. I'm going with the Jaguars here. Fournette's injured. I think the Colts will win. If, Jag if the Jaguars have Fournette, they'll win. Colt Jets at Dolphins. I'll have the Jets to win that game. The Dolphins have won, I think, three straight or two straight. Um, they're looking, well, they came back and beat Atlanta, but Atlanta blows second half lead, so, yeah. Saints at Packers. I actually like the Saints here. Their defense has been playing great for three weeks now. They were 0-2 and have won three straight. Green Bay's went off for Aaron Rodgers' injury. And they're, you know, that's huge. And I don't think this is the week for them to win. So, with their Rodgers, it will be a close game. But they could definitely win. But with Adam, I don't see it this week. Buccaneers at Bills. I'm going with the Bills. Buccaneers have not looked like who they were supposed to be. But 
I was never a believer in them, so yeah. Bears at Panthers. Panthers in a close game for sure. Titans at Browns. Tennessee for sure. Cleveland is 0-6. Will be 0-7. Uh, Dallas at Niners. People have low-key been sleeping on the Niners. I know losses are losses, but they've lost five games by a total of like two or three points each game. So they've been really close. They've been competitive and close, but they haven't made a finish. Uh, this could be an upset game. But with with Carlos Hyde and what offense, I don't see the Cowboys losing this game. So like Dallas to win here. Even with the suspension of Zeke probably coming up. But Dak still is a top 10 QB. Seattle going to the Giants. I like Seattle in a close game. The Giants will make this close. Which... Honestly, it's just fucking crazy, but the Giants will make it close. Bengals at Steelers. Everybody's picking Pittsburgh, and I am on that wagon. However, uh, the Steelers have not lost to the Bengals since 2015 in, like, week nine. Uh, when Belga injured that game, the Steelers have beaten them since then in the playoffs. Swept them last year. It's three wins straight for Pittsburgh, and, like, of the past ten meetings, we've beaten them eight or seven times. I know that for a fact. Um... The past three games have been all close wins, but they've been close, so expect this game to be competitive for sure. With the Bengals firing their offensive coordinator, this game will definitely be competitive, but I just like Pittsburgh to pull this one out because I think this that game last week hopefully should be a turning point, and I believe uh, Pittsburgh's defense in front seven versus Cincinnati's bad old line is a good matchup, and I expect this to be like an 18-10 game, or I don't know how I get 18 Okay, 16-10 uh, game, 16-12, maybe 23-14, to 14, 17. Nothing really too high of a game, but I expect this to be a sluggish, you know, ground and pound type of game. And I think Pittsburgh will uh, win this game. Broncos at Chargers. Honestly, the Chargers barely lost the Broncos in week one. The Broncos just came off a loss. The Chargers came off a win. I like the Chargers in this game. Falcons going to New England for a Super Bowl rematch, and guess what? This will be an all-offensive game. It should be. I like New England to win this game. Matt Ryan has been turning the ball over way too much in crucial game times, uh, meaning in the clutch or when he needs to step up, and he's been throwing 20 picks in the fourth quarter for me to like the Falcons to win. But New England's defense has sucked this year and is the worst in the league, but the Patriots are winning due to Tom Brady uh, and just him throwing, throwing, throwing. For my football, uh, Eagles at Redskins do not. You know what? I'm going. I'm actually picking the Redskins here. Do not underestimate the fact that the Redskins have beaten the Eagles four or five times in a row, and the Redskins, the Eagles have just beaten them once this year. Um, of course, obviously they played once. So, um, <clears throat> on a very controversial call. Uh, that was an Eagles touchdown, defensive touchdown with Kirk Cousins' arms going forward. Yeah, no way. Uh, Redskins, I think, will win this game. They have been, they've been really good. They have, the Redskins have actually been pretty decent this year. They've been competitive in every game. Uh, barely beat the Rams. Barely lost the Eagles. Barely lost to the Chiefs on the game. But they should have won. Josh Jackson called that touchdown. The Eagles, I'm real, I'm real fluky on them. I don't believe them. I don't believe it. Five and one, no. They're gonna, they're gonna struggle down the season and finish eight and eight or nine and seven at best. So that's my opinion. That's the video, y'all. I will talk to you guys all later. Adios. I'm out.